short ice level. Halifax Moose says to the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles, their final meeting in the season. Friday, the Eagles winning 6-4 to four in Sydney. Well, here it is this afternoon. The Moose is hoping to beat the Eagles for only the second time this season. This is the first game of the final homestand of the season. The Moose says to the Eagles. I'm John Moore reporting for sportsandmore.com. Well, I think with all things considered, uh, you know, we lost Amiot probably five minutes into the game, so you're left with two 16-year-old defense and a couple of, of 17s. I thought we played a pretty good game. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I think we had a couple of passengers that uh, that hurt us up front. I don't think uh, some of our forwards played the best game that they're, they're capable of playing tonight, which was a little disappointing against a team like this. You know what? I thought he played great both games. Uh, you know, you can't uh, you can't fault him for for any of those goals. You know, Matthew Corbet at the beginning of the year, you know, he would give up a weak goal. Uh, he would tend to get down on himself. What I'm seeing now is a more confident uh, goaltender. Uh, like I say, he's playing in front of a very young defense, but he looks very composed in there. He looks uh, confident. Uh, there's there's less panic to his game. He looked very big. He challenged the shooters better uh, the last few games. You know, he's, he's stepped up. He's uh, he's become a good leader in our hockey team. And, you know, he's, he came in the room the other night after the game. He was very vocal. He was displeased in some of the penalties that were taken. Reminded me a little bit of a Patrick Waugh after a game. I, you know, I think Conrad just, uh, he, he looked more composed. He played a little more physical out there today. He played, uh, he's been getting tired lately. You know, you're, you're talking about a guy who's, who's come here at 17 years old. He's a tall, a bit of a gangly guy who still needs to grow into his body. Uh, he's played more hockey this year than he probably ever has. Uh, you know, he played the the, uh, the relegation round of the world under the World Junior Team, so he's played a lot of hockey. He's had a few injuries. I think it caught up to him, and it was it was nice him tonight get back to the form that we've seen him play uh, through the fall and, and into Christmas.